Chris Stocker design. Assume that this guy can't be cut out any other way, his hair that is. Um, well, this is a sort of skill that I've used in Photoshop um, in the last few years and um, uh, it transfers over to this program quite well. Uh, Spacebar, isn't it? And then, right, let's cut him out to start with. So we'll just make a, a cut out. I'll do this relatively quickly. Um, obviously it's a bit boring. It doesn't have to be... Um, no, is that right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be um, very accurate around the hair. Imagine this was an entire body though. You know, this is the best way to do it. If he had dark hair and a dark background, you wouldn't be able to select it. But here, here's how you do it. It's a little bit time consuming, but the thing is, if you've just got a production deadline, you've just got to get on with it. You just, you know, this just has to be done. Then this is the way to do it. Um, I thought I, oh, what's happened here then? I've made two, right, I'm gonna have to do that again. Um, it makes multiple paths, that's the thing you see about affinity, it's a bit weird. Um, I haven't quite got used to that yet, I, I haven't had it that long. Okay, um, that's a rough cut out, make a selection and turn it into a um, mask. Command D for deselect. Okay, so the first thing to do is to click on the mask and invert it. Command I or um, on the Mac, that is. Okay. Right, so what you do is this. I won't do the whole thing, I'll just do a bit. I do this bit of hair here. Do you get the idea? What you do is you go into the smudge tool. Um, I'm on a strength of 50%, flow of 69, let's take that down to something like 30. Um, and what you do is you smudge the mask. Uh, so command I was to invert, that's not quite enough, I need a bit more. I need a bit more strength to that. Um, and this looks quite tedious. But, um, which it is, but the thing is, it does get the job done. And um, if you were working for a pre press department and the guy said, right, we need this, it needs to go out the door, you know, um, then you would be um, inclined to, um, you know, do whatever's necessary. But you know that in, you know, half an hour's time or whatever this can go on to a magazine cover and it will look it will look fine and under the circumstances what else could you have done uh, so I'm assuming that you, you know you, you just can't select this anyhow I mean this is selectable I think um, but you know we're just for these purposes um, we'll just do this I mean what about if half you know the thing is that sometimes half of it's selectable and then half of it you have to use this technique. So I'm sort of pushing out the alpha channel. And the upshot of that is if I invert it back, command I, is a sort of reasonable cutout. Now, the thing to do is to go down in the brush size. And you can pull it out, but you can also eat into it as well. So if I do this, you can see now I'm creating, so I can, I'm eating in by dragging that way. And I'm pulling out by going that way. Um, but anyway, this is the technique and um, you can cut out 
almost all hair types with this. Um, sometimes if it's a long stroke like that, you know, you can tease something out. Uh, I don't know how you view just this on its own. Okay, it's option. But you can keep on pulling out and say the hair kind of did this sort of thing. Well, you can keep going round. Um, it um, takes a while to do, but you can see how it works. Um, but that would be my recommendation to um, how to how to do this uh, tricky job. And um, all right, okay, it's not that great, is it? But the thing is, um, you you would need to work on this for some some time. Uh, and then sometimes, it's, um, if it's just not c working very well, you can you can have a very large brush and sort of just whoop, just pull the whole thing like that to give it some softness um, in areas, uh, and that works as well quite well. So if you if I just go to this channel, you can see what's happening. So, um, but. Um, but this is a sort of skill that you build up with time, like so many things, and eventually, um, you know, you'll come up with a technique that will uh, will allow you to to cut out hair, you know, very natural way. Um, okay, so that's sort of it, really. Um, Chris Stocker, Chris Stocker Design, uh, um, just um, playing with Affinity Photo. Uh, Great. Okay. Cheers.